high professional greetings of the day. This is Pritesh welcoming you in our initiative of Decodify and Simplify the Framework version 7. So, we are discussing the chapter 2 that is system for value delivery and as you know this chapter system for value delivery having a 5 subsection that is 2.1 to 2.5. In our previous section we had already covered 2.1 to 2.3. In today's section we are discussing the 2.4 that is the project environment. So are you re ready? Let's begin. So before we discussing about the project environment, let's try to understand what you mean by the environment. So let's discuss what is the dictionary meaning of environment that is something which is not in your control. We have to adjust with that, right? We are all working and living in an environment and similarly project is also exist in environment. So the environment can be defined as something related to the natural world and the impact of human activity on its condition or the culture that an individual lives in and the people and institutes with whom they interact. The point is the environment is a condition which we have to live in and we and it influences our behavior in a certain way. Let's uh, consider the example just focus on the lady she is shivering because of the cold weather. Now the cold environment forces her to wear a warm clothes that is woolen clothes so here the cold weather is the environment which forces her to uh, wear the woolen clothes and that is the impact of cold environment on her so the point is here that we cannot escape from the environment some or other way by using the different techniques we are trying to reduce the impact or manipulate that things but uh, that is something which is not sometimes in our control directly. So similarly projects happens in an environment and that environment could be different like internal environment and external environment and it is not necessary that it's always favorable. Sometimes it's favorable, sometimes it's not favorable and sometimes it's neutral. So let's uh, discuss that what to ask the project environment and how it's impact the influence on the project deliverables or a project. So project environment would be the two types, internal environment and the external environment. Internal environment would be like your deliverables, your uh, the ecosystem, like factors internal to the organization can arise from the organization itself, like from portfolio program or another project, or sometimes it's combination of all that impact the influence. Your uh, internal organization politics, your uh, process assets, and how you govern the projects, all that are defined under the internal environment. And external environment, the factor that is not in your control, that is external to the organizations, and that sometimes impact the outcomes. So government policies, norms, cultures, uh, sometimes you, are, you have a dependency on the logistics, your vendors and all that are an external environment. Let's discuss one by one. Here try to understand, we are just giving an some indicative list that can be many more things but let's, let's discuss one by one the indicative list that is first would be the process asset. Now process asset would be your tools, techniques, templates, methodology, sometimes that provided by the PMO, all those are uh, falls under the process assets that sometimes helpful for your organization, sometimes become a bureaucratic, so that is the process asset. Corporate, uh, uh, that governance document, cor that how the corporate governance will define your policies and the procedures, how would be the governing mechanism set your, that is related to your governance documents. Data asset would be your data matrix, uh, your uh, data uh, assets that come from the past project experience, lessons learned, all the documentation that archive files, your issue register, risk register that you can help for other project references, all that are your data assets. Knowledge assets, that is the knowledge repository created for your organizations, the lessons learned or in the knowledge assets, that is the tacit knowledge. Sometimes we need to understand what is the difference between data, information, knowledge and the wisdom that we will cover in some other session. But try to understand here in the knowledge assets, how the knowledge of your peers, your colleagues that is not sometimes documented or that you need to learn from them or uh, how you can uh, make a process a uh, learning forum that helps you to knowledge sharing so that all falls under the knowledge assets. 
the security and the safety that is uh, how the organization uh, relate the data protections like your confidentiality integrity and availability of the data sometimes some organization secrets that should not be passed so that some non disclosure agreement you have signed and how you maintain all that are the security and safety of the data. organization culture structure and the governance that is related to your vision mission statement your belief of the organization your leadership how it's impact the culture of the organization that bring with energy and synergy between the staff they should not work in the silos they work with the team spirit and they give a high return so that's all the productive teams that is your organization culture geographical distribution and facility of the resources uh, because nowadays in the global conglomerate the teams are scattered across the globe sometimes they are connected uh, by means of uh, co-location sometimes they distributed work from home or a work life balance that the telecommunication and other infrastructure help you to work uh, facilitate your employees that environment that is your geographical distribution infrastructure that's uh, an holistic idea that your office infrastructure civil building your uh, uh, facilities your cafeteria your uh, furniture and other things you are providing to your staff that is an infrastructure information technology software there are many softwares the few name like your uh, enterprise resource mapping uh, and planning software your sap how you manage them your uh, project software like trello and other things that help you to govern and manage the project program portfolio in a very efficient manner that's all falls under this category of environmental internal uh, environmental factors then resource availability resource availability i am just giving you a very broad view here resource availability is not limited to the human resource but material resource and how you manage that resources are available on the right time for the right uh, project so that you have to negotiate with external stakeholders sometimes you have to have an agreement and how you can manage that resources procurement contract part all that falls under the internal environment employee capabilities employee capabilities how that is the knowledge resource so how you uh, manage that resources your, your employees could be skill build your core competences of your employees how how you can uh, provide them infrastructures the learning mechanism by which they can provide a good productive environment to the entire ecosystem that all are the internal environment external environment there are many i just indicating here few of them like market condition market condition would be your competitors how they are uh, having the strategies against you your what are their market share and how the uh, as we are living in a vuca world that is volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous in the cutthroat com competition how you survive that's all are related to the market condition social and culture influences that are many the demographic the nation the religious you are having and that uh, belief the political environment uh, the code of conduct certain customs uh, that favor to the project environment certain a uh, religious belief that uh, some people if, as we are uh, in a project we are working with the cross cultural and the uh, team so we have to understand sometimes cultural shock of other people we should uh, take care uh, we have that awareness we should not hurting some other people's belief and how productively we can help to each other that's all are your external environment regulatory environment as uh, that imposed by some government and some uh, other regulatory bodies like uh, in the covid pandemic most of the government imposed the lockdown and other things and the way it's impact the entire ecosystem the covid appro uh, appropriate behavior the code of conduct and all that are impacting your project things commercial database that is how certain organization are uh, having a ranking the risk profiles and all that stuff is impacting your reputations and uh, and that will make a uh, impact on the external, uh, external factors that related to your organization academic research that is uh, something which is very useful because uh, every day there are so many innovations are happening and some innovations are making uh, your organization helpful some innovations are destructive because they are uh, helping other organization like uh, the traditional uh, storage mechanism will destructed by software defined storage and all that thing so academic research will helpful because in a near future it will comes to the industry and that it's change the entire paradigm 
industrial standards that is constantly evolving and that helpful for organization if i would give you an example with automobile industry so in that engine the earlier it was bs4 standards they are migrated to now bs6 standards so that uh, improvement that also and same with the automobile industries the trend is now from the oil uh, to they are uh, that petrol and gasoline they are shifting to the electric uh, motor vehicle so that will also help in uh, and uh, sometimes it's uh, damaging the organization if you are not moving with that industrial trend financial consideration with many things like uh, dollar rate the reverse repo the banking system rate and oil prices that are changing and fluctuating in the market and accordingly your the entire logistics system if you are having a higher dependency that is impacting your organization so that also you need to consider that how you are working with uh, 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 environment and inter coordination with all that things that sometimes help you so you have to uh, have a uh, this uh, risk mitigation strategy for all of them physical environment would be many things like your office setup the weather condition that have helpful for you or sometimes it's impacting you so these are the list indicative list of internal and external environment but uh, in reality it would be many things you have to take care so this is the section 2.4 that is the external environment i hope you like the session if you really like that just please like the bell button and subscribe thank you very much for your kind quality attention thanks